Hi everyone, this is Angel from the blog Angel in Munchie Land and also from the blog Angel Thir Diary of an Alien. And um, this is my very first cooking video. We use the term cooking loosely because it's, I'm not a chef. This is cooking for people who can't cook. Um, I'm going to be making spaghetti squash, which has become my specialty just because it's easy and it's vegetarian and it's actually vegan as well. So I'm going to show you how I do it. All right, thanks. So this is going to be rather, this is going to be rather hard because I don't have like a a tripod or anything such as that to help me hold the camera so I'm actually gonna be trying to cut with a knife and hold a camera at the same time danger this is very dangerous don't try this at home so anyways maybe I'll just tell you what I'm gonna do and then do it All right so what I'm gonna do here is I've got the squash uh, spaghetti squash is like super super hard to cut in half and so um, I saw this trick online which is where I get all my information and what you do is you take your knife here's a knife Arr, danger. and you cut so basically you're just going to cut like a dotted line all around the squash dot dot like a dashed line and it's not going to go all the way through it's just going to be a dashed line and I'm going to pause this and do that with both of my hands which will greatly reduce the number of fingers I lose and then I'll show you how it turns out Okay, so now I've got my squash and I cut a dotted line. So see, it's kind of like the dotted line you'd make for like little kids to show them how to write. Here's a dotted line for cutting. And I cut it pretty much all the way around. So now what I'm going to do is lay the squash down and I'm going to put it in my microwave on just like the regular high cook for about five minutes. And in the meantime, I'm going to set my oven for 400 degrees to get it preheated. All right. Here we go. Uh, yeah, so now the um, squash, I almost said cantaloupe, but the squash is in the microwave. Um, so you probably read somewhere, if you were gonna uh, like Google how to cook a spaghetti squash, uh, they'd probably have a better way to cut it than this if they were a really serious chef. So I just wanted to clarify that I am not a really serious chef. I don't even really know how to cook, so this is all pretty much new to me. So, microwave, that's what I'm doing. So now the squash just came out of the microwave, and so I'm going to cut it, but it is really, really hot, so I recommend oven mitts. All right, and um, again, I can't do it with while holding the camera. Maybe someday I will get like a tripod or something, so, but not right now. Right now I'm just gonna set down the camera and I'm going to cut the thing, the, what is it again? The squash. Alright, I'm going to cut the squash, but I'll just show you in a second. Um, okay, pause. So what I wanted to show you is that it's going to be a lot easier to cut because of these lines. And I'm going to just end up cutting, where are our lines? Right along the lines, that, right along the perforations that we made earlier. When I cut, I'm just cutting right along there. And if I could show you, you would see that it'll split open a lot easier than it would have if I if I hadn't microwaved it. Okay, hang on. Okay, so now I've gotten the squash open. And it looks like pumpkin guts inside. And it smells a lot like pumpkin guts too. And... Uh, these are, they even look like pumpkin seeds, which I guess a squash, or a pumpkin is a squash, so I guess that's why. So what I'm just going to do is I'm going to scoop out the uh, seeds and stuff, like this, uh, basically the seeds and like some of this other stiff stuff. I'm going to scoop that out with an ice cream scoop, which I'm also not going to show you because, hey look, it's fish. Anyways, so I'm going to not show you that because I have no one to hold the camera, so uh, just hang on for a minute. Okay, wait here. Okay, so, hmm. so here's the guts. I don't know if the uh, spaghetti squash gut or the spaghetti squash seeds are as good to eat as pumpkin seeds are, but they look similar. And over here is our squashes, or our one squash. 
They're, it's, they're all hollowed out. So what I'm going to do now is uh, drizzle some olive oil in there, just a little bit. And then if you had a uh, like a cooking paintbrush, I mean, don't go get like your artist paintbrush and start painting. But if you had one of those rubbery ones that's just for cooking, you could use that to spread the olive oil around. I don't because I'm not cool. So I'm just going to use a paper towel to kind of do that. All right, so hang on and I'll show you when it's done. All right, so you, you can't see it because it's, but it is, does it look a little more shiny or something? The oil's in there, just trust me on this one. So now I'm gonna turn over the squashes and so that the cut side is down. I don't want them like rocking around in the oven like boats. And then I'm going to put them into the oven for about 40 minutes. And then I'll, at that point I'll probably take them out. So like 40 minutes from now, I will be taking these squashes out of the oven. Hi, all right, so at this point in time, um, what I'm going to do now is start um, frying up some of my vegetables that I've already cut up. So I'm gonna add a little bit of oil. Mm, look at that. Then I'm gonna turn on my heat, and then in a few minutes, I'm gonna add my veggies, which I have earlier cut up. I put in some cherry tomatoes, onions, and red peppers because that's what I had. All right, so we're turning that up and we'll see what happens. Okay, so now I'm gonna add these to the pot. And then I'm gonna stir it with my spatula. So, I know, like pretty much everything I make is stir fried. And I'm going to add, so I don't really know a whole lot about seasonings, so what I usually add is black pepper, because it's cold, and then I like to add a little bit of an Italian seasoning, because I'm Italian, so I just feel like I should be eating Italian seasoned stuff, and then stir it. Okay, so basically I'm not going to film this whole thing of me stirring the stupid vegetables, because... That would be boring for you, but just realize that I'm probably going to stir these for like a really long time. Okay. Okay, so the squash just came out of the oven, and I'm going to let it cool off before I attempt to spaghetti -fy it, because I just don't want to burn my hand, and because I'm still cooking the, the, this chunk. So let's give this about five minutes for that stuff to cool off and this stuff to heat up. And then I'll get back with you. Alright? Yeah. Okay. Alright. So I think I'm going to be able to show you a little bit of this. If it's not moving around too much. Which it probably is. But okay. So when you're scraping it, you just scrape out all the insides of your spaghetti. Just like... Basically, okay, it's really hard to do with one hand because it's rolling around on the tray. Normally, you'd be doing this with two hands. I still recommend you should either use like a spatula or your hand with an oven mitt on it because I just about burned my hand trying to turn these things over. But all I'm trying to tell you is just scrape out all the edges and as you scrape it, this is why it's called spaghetti squash because it comes out, it looks like noodles. The texture is crunchier than noodles, but it looks like noodles, so you could fake like it was noodles. Alright. Um, it looks like the edges got a little burnt. In the blog that I read that told me to do it that way with them facing down, it said it could get caramelized. That could be fancy chef speak for burnt. Because usually I cooked them face, like with the hollowed out side up, and it didn't burn. But this time it burnt a little. It's okay. We don't mind, right? Sometimes you have to make mistakes when you're cooking in order to, you know, learn and make better stuff next time. All right, I'm going to pause this and I'm going to scrape out all the rest of the spaghetti. And then um, the stuff's over here. I'm going to add that in. And we're going to have some wicked cool spaghetti squash. Okay, so I've, I've spaghettified, spaghettified the squash. I'm going to show you with this one because it has a handle, so I can actually kind of do it with one hand. But I'm just going to add it to my pan. Bam! Like that. See, I'm so professional. And after I uh, 
put down this phone, I'm just going to scrape out the rest of it. And I'm just going to put all of it into the pan. And my favorite thing about cooking with cherry tomatoes is because I love them so much. And um, they kind of pop open during the cooking. Like, you don't really need any other sauce or seasoning or anything because the tomatoes just add so much flavor and taste to it. Sometimes I just make noodles, like plain, ordinary noodles, and then I just uh, put the cherry tomatoes into the pot with the noodles when I'm boiling them, and then it just oh my gosh, it's so good. I'll have to make that for you guys one day. But for now, please hold up while I stir in the spaghetti, and then I'll show you the finished product. The finished spaghetti squash with tomatoes and red peppers and onions and uh, black pepper and Italian seasoning all in a pot. And um, I'm gonna eat it right now. I'm not gonna film myself eating it. That would be stupid. But I will post in my blog about how it tasted and how it turned out. So visit my blog, Angel in Munchie Land. All right. Thanks for visiting my brand new cooking show. I hope you check out my blog, Angel and Cookie Land. Cook, cookie, Angel and Cookie Land. Angel and Munchie Land. Cookie Land would also be cool. But yeah, check out that blog and uh, check out Diary of the Alien. Diary of an Alien. I don't even know what my blogs are called. And um, yeah, tell me what you think. If you post mean comments, I'm just going to delete them. So don't mock me. If you have like ideas and constructive criticism, that's cool. But if you're just gonna be a jerk, I'll delete comments because I just I'm non-confrontational, so I'd just rather delete it than like read your mean mean stuff. So be nice. Alright, goodbye.